Hello, everybody. We are two metalheads. We are? Um, I think so. Oh. <laughs> and today, we're going to talk about, um, like, a guitar... I'm such an idiot when I do these things. <laughs> we're going to talk about a solo that... Not necessarily, like, your favorite solo, but something that really sticks in your head. You know, there's a lot of those that just get stuck in there. Some of our favorite songs. Yeah, it's up there, I guess. So, if you, why don't you start with, if you got one. Okay. Um, one of my favorite guitar solos of all time, one of my favorite lead guitar players of all time is Slash. Okay. And uh, <clears throat> I think I'm going to have to go... It's going to be with, like, Velvet Revolver, right? Totally. <laughs> totally. <laughs> um... My favorite solo is Han. What? Han. Han? Solo. Oh, <laughs> so it, should be, it should be Khan solo. Khan? Yeah. Khan! Not that Khan. Oh. <laughs> like, oh, yeah, because your last name. <laughs> anyway. Any hole. My favorite solo, well, one of my favorite solos of all time, is the epic fucking Sweet Child of Mine solo. Okay. I thought you were going to say, like, have, uh, not going to have in store or something. That one's great, too. That one has, that one's kind of catchy. That one's great, too. He's on the, on the train tracks. <laughs> um. Is it the train tracks? No, I think you're thinking of, uh, November Rain. Ah, uh, yes, I am. Yeah. I am. And then he's fucking playing, and, like, the car goes over the fucking cliff. Yeah. And he's fucking in there with his broad screaming in his ear, and he fucking flicks his cigarette at her, and <laughs> all of a sudden he's standing on the cliff with the fucking Les Paul fucking going off. That's great. But uh, Sweet Child of Mine, killer solo. Uh, everything about that, it's fucking melodic. There's, like, really bluesy, catchy pieces in it. And then it gets, like, really fucking kind of shreddy and epic. Am I boring you? (laughs) 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 I've heard this solo a million times. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night. Uh, You got to rub one out before you go to bed. When I was in the studio. Oh. You got to rub one out before you go to the studio. Yeah, I fall asleep there. (laughs) I'm sorry, what was that? (laughs) What? (laughs) Um, Yeah, the, the, the middle, like, that climb... Where it's fucking the ascending piece and it comes up and he's fucking doing those like nasty ring outs towards the end, you know, before it comes into the where do we go? Where and even like those little tasty licks in that. And you know, you hear that like wow 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 You know, he's got like it's almost kinda like a little like Michael Jackson lick in there a little bit. You know, which is weird because <clears throat> I was just going to say he wound up playing lead guitar for Michael Jackson a few years later. But, uh, dude, that's that video was what made me want to be in a band. Oh, wow. But that solo is what made me want to fucking play guitar, even though I'm not a lead guitar player. I just like that piece of fucking guitar playing throughout that fucking song, throughout that lead section, just like always fucking gave me goosies <laughs> gave me goosies still does I, I still I've heard that song fucking 900 million times yeah me too that was my first like CD every like, time I hear fun. that lead I still get like like I get so fucking amped oh. it's so good rock. yeah I, I do get <laughs> hard too like my fucking pants burst open like Lenny Kravitz and... <laughs> people are probably gonna be like what the fuck are they talking about mm. <laughs> but yeah the major D. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> so that's one of my top favorite solos of all time. Okay. And what about Fair you? Enough. All right. Mine, um... Uh... Well... Okay, so... It's gonna <laughs> have to say... <laughs> I'm gonna have to say it's a testament. Uh, over the wall. Solid. Solid. Alex Skolnick rules. Uh, yeah. Like, the beginning, he has, like, a good, like, like, it's like a harmony melody line. Mm-hmm. 
and then he busts into a, a solo, and it's not like over the top crazy or anything, but it's really tasty. It's just perfect for the song. It's really catchy, and then he goes back into like the harmony, melodic thing on the way out, and it just always stuck in my head. And I'm like, ah, that's what I want to do. Like that's that's a badass solo. It's a great idea. It's a badass song in general. Yeah, it's a fucking killer tune. And for like thrash metal at that time, <clears throat> like that was super melodic for thrash metal. Oh yeah, in the 80s. yeah. Nobody else was really doing that that tasty that like that. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like. With thrash metal back then, it was all about just fucking blistering, dive bombs, Kerry King style. You yeah, know what I mean? There Which wasn't is a great. Whole lot of guys doing like, you know, it wasn't a whole lot of guys that you're like that guy really knows his stuff. You right. Know? Like, he knows his theory. Well, he yeah he obviously I was gonna say he obviously knows his theory. He's into jazz and all. Well, that, that was it. I mean, afterwards, I, I he quit for a while and went and got a degree in jazz. And yeah. Then came back, but. At that point, he still had to, he had to have known some like some stuff. Oh, of course. Yeah, like and I mean, same thing with like Kurt Hammett. You could tell he you know he was tasteful. Mm-hmm. I mean, some of the stuff was a lot of it was easy, a lot of wah. But he used but he did it well, you right? Know, like it, it fit in, it sounded great. I couldn't really picture it any other way. Dude, those solos all throughout Master of Puppets. Yeah, he's not really leaning on the wah too much. And it's really just a lot of crazy shit. Yeah, same thing with Justice for All. I mean, yeah. They all fit in really, you know. So, uh, yeah. So I'd have to say over the wall. Fuck I mean, yeah. You know, there's other guitarists later on that I was like, holy crap. But, you know, like Ingve, I'm like, <laughs> you know, hear him for the first time. And I'm like, <laughs> <"You know? laughs> really? What the fuck just happened? You can do this with a guitar? Yeah. He's fucking nuts too. Yeah. But, but you know, he's a lot. You know what's weird? His rhythms are fucking hard too. Yeah. You know, like well, his rhythms almost. I mean, he does have like solo licks in them. Yeah, a little bit, and I mean that's kind of like I get a little bit of my style from that. Oh yeah, I could tell. But like, because you could listen to his stuff with Rising Force when he has like a singer, mm-hmm. and you know, he could lay back a lot more and get away with it. Of but course, he, but he doesn't. He still puts it all out there. Yeah. And you're like, wow. Well, He's not like, lazy. You, you you don't think about the riffs as much because there's vocals going on and everything. But if you really listen to some of those licks, you're like, this is not that easy to play. Yeah. You know, some of the stuff like uh, like uh, the ships are burned and stuff. Like you listen to like, the, the the rhythms. <laughs> yeah. That's one of the ones I learned how to play. And like that intro lick is not as hard as the as the the stuff afterwards right like, that's, like that's hard, man. and and it's like it, that's like a, a riff that you wouldn't even think about you know you think about his solos and everything right and it's like some of the licks are harder than his solos even i am a viking that's fucking crazy too that riff is nuts yeah because there's like old middle shit going on there that's like holy fuck there's a lot of different theory going on there yeah and the ends are all diminished sequences and you know yeah, there's a lot of like, and it's not, that one's not even particularly fast, but it's no, like, that's a mid pace complex though, right? Yeah, yeah, because there's so much shit going on. Yeah, I mean he's one of the <clears throat> earlier guys that stuck in my head a bit too, but I mean, totally overall, like I didn't hear him till I was a little older, right? You know, so because I, I, like the first thing I heard from him was like. I think it was Trilogy or something, and there was so much keyboard in, like, the first song or yeah. whatever, that I got turned off right away. Yeah, there's a lot of keys in Trilogy, but that's a great I, record, though. But I was young when somebody first, like, I was in, like, ninth grade or something, right. somebody, and I was like, I don't want to listen to this. Mm-hmm. I don't like it. And then later on, I finally gave it a try. And, like, Trilogy, Trilogy doesn't have, I don't think there's a lot of, I don't think there's any singing in it either or anything. No, Trilogy has a ton of singing on it. Am I thinking the right one, then? Oh, I'm thinking... Oh, maybe I'm thinking of Fire and Ice or something. Or with the dragon on the cover. Where he's, like, fucking pointing the guitar yeah. at the dragon. Yeah, that's Trilogy. Is it Trilogy? Or yeah. Fire? Okay. That's Trilogy. Oh, the first... I don't remember. The first couple songs... It doesn't songs. have Rising Force, though, so it's not, like... No. It's one of the ones that doesn't have as much singing as the other albums. Actually, it has heard, more... like, Rising Force and Marching Out first, I would have <clears> been all in. Yeah. You know, those are traditional metal. Right, pretty much, and I like a little bit glamish, but no. Mark Bowles fucking does a great job singing on Trilogy, man. Yeah, but 
I don't know. There was just something about that. The first like part, the first stuff I heard on trilogy when mm. I was younger, I just was like, eh, eh, nope. You know, I need a lot more closed minded back then. And, oh, of course, you know. dude. When I first heard and, and that actually that album reminds me a lot of the Ultimate Sin from Ozzy. Oh yeah, because it's kind of got that feel to it. It's got that '80s, lots of keyboards feel to it. Um, and I remember first hearing the Ultimate Sin as a young dude. Um, you know, after hearing fucking Sabbath and after hearing Blizzard of Oz, Diary of a Madman, and even Bark at the Moon, I heard Ultimate Sin and I was like, "This album fucking sucks. <laughs> this is so lame. Like, there's keyboards in there. Why does Ozzy need all these keys?" Yeah, keyboards when I was younger just threw me off. It's so eighties and just like it was black. over the top, like right. tasteful in the back a little bit. Yeah, I'm okay with, but some of them over the top, I was like, eh. but then years later. Um, you know, after maturing a little and growing a little musically, I went back to Ultimate Sin and I was like, you know what? This album actually is fucking, in my opinion, better better than Bark at the Moon. Well, you it could has tell, Jake like, on it also, yeah, it? it's got Jake on it, and you could tell he had a little more to do with the riffs and the solos and stuff. Like, it got more technical, and he's you a, know, he's there's a killer guitar player. Really I mean, I really haven't is. listened to his new band too much, but it's. Uh, but, I mean, I'm sure he's still got it. The singer kind of blows in the new band. I really don't like him very much. Yeah, I haven't really given that. I think I and he's had, like, 90 it, so. different singers since he put the record out. Oh, really? Dude, he can't, he can't keep a singer. I wonder if he's a pain in the ass to work with. Probably. He's probably like, well, I played with Ozzy. And yeah, probably. I don't know. I don't know. Big fucking head. Maybe it, maybe it's not paying as good as everybody thinks it will. Like, they think, you, oh, I'm going to play with Jakey e. Lee and he was an Aussie, and then mm-hmm. you realize I don't have enough money to pay the bills. Exactly. And you're like, it could oh, be that too, he's yeah. Not, he's not exactly what he, what he, you know. Right. People aren't coming out to see him because he played with Ozzy anymore. Yes. Yeah. It's because it's they, they like him or they, you know, or they, you know, or they're not going. Mm. <laughs> you know? So. What are some of your favorite guitar solos? Yeah, let us know down below us. Blow us. Thanks, Antenna. And any suggestions you have for the future? Let us know. What do you guys have to say? Say it. Blow us.